Hi, I'm Jen. I'm a certified lymphedema therapist at Milford Vascular Institute, and today we're going to go over how to self bandage for your lymphedema. So, always remember skincare first, make sure you wash and dry your skin thoroughly, and apply your moisturizer before putting your bandaging on. So, the first layer of the compression bandaging is your stockinette layer, which I will provide for you. So just like its name, it looks like a big stocking that pulls up to just above the knee and comes down to the toes. After the stockinette layer, I may have you using some sort of a foam. Depending on the patient, I will specify that that layer would go on second. Additionally, in some patients, we wrap the toes if the toes tend to swell, and I will give you the materials to do that as well. Today, we're going to focus just on how to apply the short stretch bandage. Short stretch bandage is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bandage that does not stretch much, and we use this because it provides a lot of containment, so it does not allow your leg swelling to fluctuate. So we start with, we have three different sizes that we're gonna use. We start with the smallest, and we're gonna work our way up to the largest. The reason we do that is so that we can create what's called a compression or pressure gradient. So smallest one first, we're gonna start just at the base of the toes. We're going to wrap around the foot a couple of times to anchor the bandage, and I'm not, pulling too hard on this because this is going to go over, it's going to overlap multiple times so I don't want to create too much pressure here. But once I've got my anchor in place and I start working my way up the foot and the leg, I'm going to just pull a little bit on that, on that bandage to allow um, the stretch to be taken out of it. And we're just going to start wrapping around the foot. When we get to the heel, and the ankle, the bandage is going to want to go around the ankle. And we're just gonna kind of follow that around. And then continue to work our way up the lower leg. We're gonna come up and across, around and back down. I'm overlapping by about half of the bandage as I go along here. And when we get to the end, all we're gonna do is do a little tuck of the bandage to anchor it in place. The second bandage is also going to start on the foot. We're gonna bring it around. Again, anchoring it with our first, our first pass. And then we're gonna to start to work our way up the foot and ankle. Again, when we get to the ankle, we'll start that figure eight or herringbone type pattern where we Bring it up, around, down, again overlapping by about half. Pulling that bandage just to take that stretch out of it. And then using my other hand to just kind of make sure that it's staying flat against the skin. And this one will take you up a little bit further than the first one. Again, just a little tuck to anchor. And we have our last bandage. Now this one's gonna start at the ankle, kind of where those ankle bones are. And we're going to start again with our anchor. Come right around. And then for this one, instead of doing that herringbone pattern, we're just gonna spiral. We're just gonna bring it right up the leg, going around and around. We're gonna bring it to just below the knee. We wanna make sure that we're not getting too tight behind the back of the knee here so that when you try to bend, it's not uncomfortable and doesn't create irritation. So I'm just using up the end of that wrap, not really putting any pull on it just because there's a little extra there. And then I'm gonna take our trusty tape. I use masking tape, nice and easy. You can find it anywhere secure the end of that bandage. We don't want to use those little clips. They can be dangerous. They can cut the skin. We do not want that, especially on lymphedema patient. And then the stockinette pulls down over the top to protect and act as a buffer. So then I'm just gonna to check to make sure that I feel nice gradient compression here as I go up the leg. We feel more compression down at the foot and ankle and less as we go up. Also going to check to make sure we have good circulation by checking capillary refill. And you can see that it looks fantastic. How does it feel? It's good. Ooh. 
So the compression bandages are going to remain on for 20, anywhere from 22 to 24 hours. You'll take them off to shower. Again, perform your skin care. When you take them off, you're gonna to wanna to re-roll them so that it's easy to apply again, and it helps the bandages maintain their shape as well. So take it off, shower, let the skin dry, breathe, and then reapply. So if you or someone you know has leg swelling and you think that you may be a candidate for lymphedema therapy, please feel free to call the office to schedule an appointment. The phone number is 203-882-8346. We look forward to meeting you.